So guys, as you can see, I now have my hands on the exotic auto rifle Necrochasm, which can be obtained via the Crota's End Raid. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how you can get it, what the weapon does, what the catalyst for the weapon does and how you can get that, as well as ways of making this weapon stronger by pairing it with a certain subclass and exotics. Before we jump into it though, if you're going to enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. A lot of you who watch my content aren't actually subscribed, so if you're going to enjoy, please do hit that subscribe button. It's free to do and it really helps me out here a lot. All out of the way though, let's just jump into today's video. First off, starting with how you can get your hands on the Necrochasm. It's very simple, you just need to complete the Crota's End Raid and collect the quest from Crota's Chest. Upon collecting the quest, you'll get Husky the Pit. You need to get 100 Hive kills with that weapon. Then it will upgrade to the Edelon Ally. Once you have that weapon, you then need to go back into the Crota's End Raid and collect 20 Essence of the Oversoul. I've made a separate video covering the updates to Essence of Oversoul with its drop rate and all that. So if you need to look at that, Links will be in the description of this video. Once you have 20 Essence of Oversoul, you just need to kill Crota one last time, and then you are rewarded with the Necrochasm. If you want to get the Catalyst for the weapon, which will grant this weapon Outlaw, uh, you need to go back into the raid with Necrochasm, uh, complete a hidden challenge within the raid itself, similar to what you needed to do for the Touch of Malice Catalyst. Uh, upon completing that challenge, you are then rewarded with the Catalyst, but you then need to go and collect an extra 15 Essence of Oversoul to actually complete the Catalyst and have it unlockable. The catalyst itself gives an Outlaw, uh, which pairs nicely with its perks of Curse Breaker, where Precision Final Blows with this weapon trigger a Curseful Explosion. Final Blows with Curseful Explosions refill the magazine, and then Desperation Reloading after Precision Final Blow or Curseful Explosion increases your rate of fire and improves aim assist and stability. Now, this is very similar to Desperado, a perk that can be found on legendary weapons, but Desperado decreases your actual impact, whereas Desperation does not. So the impact of the weapon stays the same, it's just a flat boost to the rate of fire, which can be very strong inside of PvP. In the gameplay now, I'm going to be showing you a uh, gameplay of the weapon, as well as taking advantage of this weapon paired with the arc aspect known as Spark of Discharge, where arc weapon final blows have a chance to create an ionic trace. Now you're probably wondering why this works considering it's not an arc weapon. Well, the cursed fool explosions that this weapon create are actual arc damage, so a cursed fool explosion will have a chance to generate an arc uh, ionic trace if you are using the arc subclass and have that aspect equipped. Also, if you're a warlock and you'd like necrotic grips, uh, your cursed fool explosions will also be spreading poison if you'd like necrotics and have them equipped. So this weapon has a lot of good pairings uh, with the Arc subclass as well as the Necrotic. Uh, it is a bit overkill sometimes, uh, especially if you're doing it against red bar enemies because the first full explosions will just kill them outright. And if you're using this weapon on a tankier target than a red bar, then you're probably going to be struggling a bit there and you probably shouldn't be using it on anything above a red bar to be honest. Oh and one more thing, the Curse for All Explosions from this weapon did receive a 30% damage boost as well with the recent patch, so it's now even stronger than it was before. Uh, but this weapon is really good for overall ad clear and it's quite fun to use. It's definitely worth the grind of 20 Essence of Oversoul, especially now that the drop rate for them has been increased. And that's basically it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.